Hi everybody, today we are going to be making a video game in 10 minutes. We're going to be doing it in the Construct 3 video game engine. It's a browser based video game engine that is very good at making prototypes very quickly and also full fledged games that you can deploy to multiple platforms. I've been using it for about a year and it is a joy to uh, make games in. Um, for somebody that was just learning how to make games a year or so ago, I felt like I have really come a long way and it's very user friendly for those who are just learning, but also it's just really quick to make games in. Um, it does focus on 2D games, not 3D games, uh, but for 2D games, I, I really don't know that there is a way to make a game faster than in Construct 3. So today we're going to try to make one in 10 minutes. Uh, that'll be a challenge certainly, but it'll be pretty fun. I'm going to do it by randomly selecting two features or behaviors from the game engine and making that the focus of the game. I think it'll be uh, a fun challenge and a fun way to, uh, I don't know, creatively think under pressure. Um, hopefully you'll learn a few tips and tricks along the way. I'm still learning, uh, you know, in, in my game making journey, but, uh, you know, feel free to add some comments down below. Uh, speaking of which, I currently have very few subscribers. In fact, I have zero as I make this video. So if you happen to be that very first subscriber to my channel, Thank you so much, you made my day. With that being said, let's jump over to their website and check it out. Okay, so this is Construct 3's website. Uh, if you come here, you'll find a load of information. Um, first of all, it has a great manual, which we'll look at in a second. Second of all, it has a great forum uh, and active community there that you can find help. The game engine is browser-based, which is pretty awesome because you can jump across um, devices or uh, laptops, or you can even pull it up on your tablet or your phone. Um, that said, let's jump over to the manual to take a look at what we will be working with today. When you come over here and you look at the behavior reference, you'll see a whole bunch of behaviors that are really easy to implement in Construct. These are common things that you might put in your video game, and this is what makes it so quick to work with. Uh, so I've taken the time already to put this into kind of a random spinning wheel uh, application online and we'll use that to select which ones we're going to focus in our game today. Let's jump over to it. Okay, so our first feature that we're going to be building a game with is car. Okay, that's a fun one. Uh, it is a movement control scheme uh, that will feel like a car. So our second feature that we'll be making a game with is line of sight. Okay, so line of sight is a feature that you can add to an object which gives it a field of view and a certain distance and you can trigger off of it when enemies or anything else comes within view. Alright, so line of sight and car. That'll be a fun one. Uh, I think we can come up with some good stuff with that. Uh, I will be using some pre-made game art uh, to make this a little bit more uh, achievable of a challenge. Uh, this is craftpix.net. I highly recommend it. I subscribe to it. They have lots of free art that you can grab for 2D games, but also if you subscribe, you get access to the whole website. I'll put a referral link down below. I'll probably make about five cents off of it. But um, either way, even if you don't use it, great website. Come and check it out. All right, now let's go ahead and create our awesome game. Okay, so it was car and line of sight. So we're going to call this uh, the lost car. The L-O-S-T car. The lost car. This will be good. Uh, let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. And that'll be good. Okay, I'm going to give myself a full 10 minutes on the clock. This has been ticking down in the background. So let me refresh this. And we will jump right in, starting now. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sprite. Uh, since we want to have a car, I think I actually do have a car downloaded um, somewhere. Let me see. Car, racing, cars. I do have a car. Okay, we will use... This one looks kind of cool. Use this one. Okay, car pretty big. Let's scale it down. Okay. So far we got our car. I'm going to add a behavior to our car, which is car. Car, car, car. Car, 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 car. Okay. So now we've got our car behavior. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play and see what this looks like. Um, you'll use the arrow keys uh, with this behavior and oh, come on, construct. There we go. Okay, so forward, okay, as you can see, it's 
rotated 90 degrees to where we want, and we can't really tell if we're moving. So let's do a couple things about that. First thing is, let's rotate this right so it looks a little bit more like we're driving it in the right direction. Also, let's drag and drop a uh, background onto here to give ourselves something to uh, move against. I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. Uh, let's put this on the layer 1, and we'll put this over here. Let's rotate this uh, 270. And let's go it out. Now when we hit play, hopefully it'll look like we're moving, and there we go. Okay, we're moving our car. All good. Okay. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is we have to implement line of sight. So let's put it on here. Okay. Um, and I think what we should do is make it a little bit interesting uh, by adding some obstacles here. Let's come over here and add... Got some bombs. I don't like bombs. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Let me just lock this background there. Okay, sprite. And let's do this. And I think I've got a bomb here. Yeah, this will work. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, we're going to have this not loop, but that's how we go. Eight and. Okay, there we go. We got a bomb. So we got some of these guys. That's that's good. Um, and I think what we're going to do is make a minefield. It's kind of fun. And we're going to give this a uh, line of sight, actually. This is what we're going to use it on. And we will also... Um, let's add a quick wall that I will draw myself which will look great okay so let's draw a this does have a, a pretty decent editor in here if you just want to do some simple sprites uh, I'm gonna make this really simple and make a set of green rectangles that will be our object that we will give line of sight to or that we will use to hide from uh, our minefield, or at least make it a little bit more interesting of a feature. Is that about right? Uh, there we go. Whatever. This works. Okay, so we've got some walls, and I don't know, we'll haphazardly put this over here. Maybe there's some things that we can incorporate into our game. We'll see how it feels. Uh, let's add a solid behavior to this. And um, I can't remember if I need to add a solid to this. Let's, let's do it. So I want to test something here. Let's go ahead and see if I can drive through this wall. I cannot. Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted. All right, so uh, as you notice, our bombs all exploded right away. We'll fix that in a little bit. Um, this is the line of sight. I also want to give it the uh, move to. And also, I want to do something hopefully a little clever here. How much time do we have left? Four minutes, 56 seconds. We can do it. Let's add another sprite. We haven't gone to the event sheet yet. Let's make it a circle. Um, let's not fill it. This works. Now you know what? We don't need the circle. All right. Okay, so we got all those things, and we give it a move to. Let's give it a max speed of I don't know, 400. And also, let's give it a timer. It's going to have a fun timer. Okay. Now let's go to our event sheet. The very first thing we want to do is we're going to do on start of layout. And let's make sure that the bombs, which we have currently called Sprite, let's call it Bomb. And let's go back here and say Bomb. I'm going to stop that animation. Don't want it to play right away. Um, 
set the frame to zero and stop the animation. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is when the bomb is line of sight to the car, uh, that's fine. We want to have the bomb uh, do a couple things. First, we're gonna set up a timer. Uh, let's start a timer, this is like our fuse. Um, let's make it uh, two seconds and let's call it explode. And what we'll do is also set a move to. Move to object, uh, car. And so we'll constantly be moving towards it, which should be interesting. Um, but I don't want this to keep ticking. So I am going to also add a quick Boolean. Um, I'm just gonna call it uh, fuse lit. Make it a Boolean, it's gonna be false. Actually, that's not the right way to do this. Let's put it onto the bomb. Let's add instant variable. Let's add uh, fuse. Boolean, okay, done. I'm gonna say, okay, we only got two minutes left. We're gonna say, okay, bomb. Set Boolean, fuse to true. And what we'll do is add another condition that says if the bombs fuse, uh, here's the Boolean, compare is Boolean set, is that, we have to invert it. So if it's false, then we can do this. Otherwise, I don't wanna start keep doing the timer. So let's do on the timer event, on timer explode. I would like to start the animation. Um, start current frame. And then also on the bomb, on the unfinished animation, I would like it to be, uh, I think we just called this, let's just call it, go in and call it explode, just to make sure. Ah, only a little over a minute left, okay. Let's come in here, let's rename this to explode. Let's call it explode now, on animation explode. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and test this real quick. Oh, I didn't do it. Uh, bomb, destroy. Let's go ahead and do this, see what this looks like. Oh, okay, that kind of worked. Uh, things were doing it though. Huh. It's interesting, I wanna have two of these, otherwise it's not really tracking well. Paste. Um, copy, paste, uh, allow. Okay. And let's go ahead and just do this and not do this. And so it will constantly track. Let's reduce this to 1.5 seconds. Done. And what we'll do is um, on explode, uh, we want to do a sub event, add blank sub event. Um, we want to do car overlapping, another object, the bomb. Then I would like the car to be destroyed. And what I also want to do is give ourselves an object objective here. So actually, let's do that sprite one more time. We're going to put it right here. We're going to make a green circle. And we're going to say, if we make it to this, that we win. So let's just say, uh, ah, two seconds, car, overlapping object, circle, done. <laughs> Reload layout. OK. Well, I went slightly over, but uh, let's, uh, let's give it a try and see how we did. I think it's a pretty good game. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, so my car is not being destroyed. And I also forgot to add a couple things, like scroll to. Let's do that real quick, even though we're over time, and see what it looks like. So if we come back here, I want the camera to follow this. That's something I forgot to do. Um, so we'll add the scroll to. And then lastly, something didn't look quite right there with the explosion. Let's just leave it here. Hmm. So why didn't my car get destroyed, even though the bomb was overlapping on timer explode? 
start animation. I put it in the wrong spot. Let's put it over here and see if that works one more time. So two small edits, not too bad. There we go. So also another good thing would be to add this right here so we can just keep looping it. I think that was a pretty awesome game. I hope, uh, let's see if we can win it once. Oh, nope. I need my car to be faster, that's the problem. Let's come back here, let's give our car some speed. Let's make it faster than the bombs. The bombs move to speed is... The next speed's only that, so, I don't know. That's not too bad. 700, acceleration, uh, sure, let's see what this looks like. Up. And also the line of sight's too high. Oh yeah, the range is super high right now. Let's make it like 500. And our acceleration is weak. Make this 700. And... Can we clear the minefield? Let's do it. Oh man, now look at us. We're way too... Uh... Boom. Game one. All right, everybody. Hey, thank you so much for sticking with me and making this video game. I had a lot of fun making The Lost Car. thought it was a pretty cool game that we made in 10-ish minutes. I'm going to make more of these videos. Put your comments down below. Really appreciate your time today. Talk to you all soon. Thank you.